My name is Dave Phillips, and I like to consider myself a health ninja who had cancer and right now doesn't. As an agent, I was involved with many documentaries like Hoop Dreams and Facing Ali. When I first got cancer, one of my oldest friends, a very old famous actor named uh, Daniel J. Travanti, called me every single day for a week and asked me, did you watch Game Changers yet? Did you watch Game Changers yet? It was the most compelling one-hour documentary I had ever watched. And it was the world's best athletes with the world's finest doctors showing you what happened when you ate plants, what happened when you ate meat. In my quest to go vegan and to learn how I could help myself, I guess you'd say Levels found me. I had just had surgery about a year ago. I gained 10 pounds back really quickly and I got an email about this beta app that could literally give you biofeedback. And the first thing I thought of was, wow, it'd be great to have Tom Brady's team of coaches around you. And the more I read the articles on it, the more I became more interested. That's when I started putting things above my desk with all the pointers that I thought were smart. It kind of became a competition to try to like help me, help myself, help my health. Levels to me, is about balance and biofeedback. The coolest thing for me is you're really only competing against yourself. I was able to watch my progress get better and better and see how I pushed myself. And quite honestly, it was a blast as I was like impressing my doctors who were telling me this can't be done. I've always loved all shades of purple ever since I was a little kid. And I came up with this thing called Go Purple, which to me meant Plants, nuts, fruits, practice. Lose the sugar and exercise before eating your first meal. Cat Stevens said something the other day which really moved me. He said, growing up is when you leave that which makes you doubt for that which doesn't. Levels doesn't make me doubt. It's become part of my solution. So now I consider myself a professional life extender. My mission before all the cancer news was to keep the daughter and the dog alive. And when I got cancer, it was keep the daughter, the dog, and me alive. <laughs> when you have cancer, at times you can feel very powerless to your lab work and your testing. One of the ways to not be powerless is to have constant biofeedback where what you put into your body and how you exercise changes your own chemistry. And with levels, you can see it. The most important things to me each day are to go to bed two hours after eating, to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night, wake up in the morning, have a good blood level, have a good night's deep sleep, and then work out before I have my first meal at 1230. One of the things I do to prevent myself from eating at night is I duct tape my kitchen. And it may sound crazy, but it works for me. Never have too much avocado. Good fats. I always eat fats first, then protein, then carbs. I try to minimize my carbs and I try to have more veggies later in the day. One of the things I hope is that my journey can speak to the every man. You want to just learn things that will make you feel better. Number one, you put on a monitor. Number two, you learn at your own pace. One, two, three, hey, hey. We're in crazy times right now. You can't think of anything more important than helping your body work at its best. Levels helps me do that.